What's up guys? Welcome back for another quad vlog. I hope all you guys had a good week. Today we are out on the quad. It's a couple weeks later after I filmed my last video. We haven't got any more snow. As you can see, most of it melted, which kind of sucks. Um, we really just have not had much snow at all this year. Like we got like, I don't know, like five or six inches total. And it's already like mid-January, which is kind of ridiculous. But anyways, today I want to head out to the country for a little bit. Like I said, we were gonna in last week's video, but today it's not so cold. I want to try to get on some of those drifts out in the country and have a little bit of fun. Road closed, what? Or I guess there is no road. No problem, no problem. Just gonna make sure there's no barbed wire. They always tricked me. One time I went over one of those things, like last summer, it didn't pop my tires though, but, oh jeez, oh. But uh, I got lucky. I know in last week's video I told you guys I was gonna try the NGK Iridium plug for the Raptor, and I still have it, I'm still running the E3 plug but I'm definitely gonna be switching over to the NGK, whatever that model number of the plug. But it's the Iridium NGK plug. I've heard really good things about the plug and uh, that's pretty much what all like high-end manufacturers like from the factory, like OEM, they all use the Iridium because it just lasts the longest and it's the most reliable plug. So there's still quite a bit of snow in the ditches, I guess. basically just ice. Oh, come on, bro. This thing is like, oh, oh shit, oh, oh, <laughs> I had a bad feeling about that. I should have gave it more gas to like try to ramp off it. Oh, we might be a little stuck. Let's try to back up. Oh no, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Dang, I'm stuck. The snow is like super hard until you break through that top layer and then it's just like all powder. I think we're good now. Yeah. Dang it. All right, so I guess the top layer is like ice and then underneath it's just pure powder. <laughs> and of course we get stuck because you know, that's what we do, we always get stuck. All right, I think I'm just gonna try to back out. Get this big block of snow out. All right, I think we're good.
That is exhausting. Oh, I'm so tired after that. All right, I think the rest of the video, I'm just gonna ride in the streets because I'm just worn out. I don't feel like getting stuck again and having to dig myself out. And it's your guys' lucky day. I actually have a topic for today's video. I want to talk about why I bought my Raptor 700 before I even thought about buying my motorcycle. And I'm sure a lot of you guys would have the same thoughts I do if quads were legal to drive on the street wherever you live. The two reasons why I bought a four-wheeler before I even thought about buying my Triumph Daytona was the fact that, number one, insurance is a lot cheaper on this quad. I did a video about it. I only pay like $150 or something like crazy like that a year to have full coverage on my Raptor 700, which is actually really cheap if you know anything about insurance for like motorsports or super sports for uh, males in their 20s. Like full coverage on a motorcycle at my age, if you're a male, is a lot more money than just that. And I talked a lot more about it in the video I did about insurance, but um, I got a quote like a couple years back, I was thinking about buying a Suzuki GSX-R 600 and it was outrageous. It was like $1,500 per year for full coverage on, you know, of course a brand new bike, but $1,500 for insurance, it was just crazy. Nobbies on the street just like slip so easy. Like you'd think they'd be grippy, but since I have such a low um, a low contact patch or low contact, whatever you want to call it, you guys know what I mean. They just like slip and slide around on pavement. And of course, the second reason guys is so I can do stuff just like this. It is the middle of January and I'm the only one out here. <laughs> of course, not a lot of people want to ride motorcycle. Ah, cop. Not a lot of people want to ride quad or motorcycle when it's, you know, 25 degrees, but hey, I'm the only guy that can. You don't see any other motorcycles out here. You'd have to be a crazy to drive a motorcycle right now because there are still some patches of ice out. And to further expand on that, you know, you can do stuff like I did earlier in the video. I just go out in the country and just have fun. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think that lady was giving me the thumbs up. Couldn't really tell though. I'm pretty sure she was. I'm pretty sure that was her thumb. Hopefully it wasn't a middle finger. I don't know. <sighs> oh, that needed to come out. The thing I love most about having this quad is the fact that I can ride it year round. Like I said, I can just throw my knobbies on when the snow flies and you know, when uh, April and spring comes, I'm just gonna throw my street tires on and give it an oil change and I'll be good to go. In my opinion, it's really a shame that you can't legalize quads everywhere because in my opinion, there's no problem or there's no reason they're unsafe on the street. Like if you put street tires on them, they stop pretty well. I can see why they are like illegal on the interstates and highways, of course, because they don't, you know, they're not meant to go 55, 70 miles an hour. I know I'm just thankful I live in a state where they are legal. All right, guys, I think this is where I'm gonna wrap up the video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button below. And I will see you guys on the next one.